Gia. 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 Got my nigga cheese in this bitch. Midwest. Midwest UGK, nigga. Oh, we already know. Gia. I said my hands on this money. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. This hundred round drummy. Hit a knock a nigga right down. My dope on my scale. If he knock it, watch lights out. My spot do be booming. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. My hands on this money. I'm caught up in this lifestyle. Yo, yo, hey man, it's time for that Coach for the Street podcast. We back, you dig, and we back in these YouTube streets. And without further ado, y'all know what to do, man. But we're going to talk about the old block six guilty of killing FBG Duck execution style. Them boys got found guilty, bro. It's over for them fellas. I feel like I think I think the world knew them niggas was going to jail. Bruh. I think we knew when they wasn't getting out that they was going down because in that situation, um <clears throat> it was too much evidence too fast. Right. They got to the bar, they knew what kind of cars niggas was in and they had footage of niggas running out the projects to get in the car. It was almost like they basically had footage of the whole setup. They just had to gather it. They didn't. It think, was like the bro. sloppiest hit. That just lets you know, like, when it comes to this street stuff, niggas will do anything for a dollar, bro. True. Because I know why they sitting in there. Allegedly, we know that the hit was supposed to be for like a hundred k. That shit wasn't worth it. It wasn't. You niggas got knocked by the feds and didn't even have hundred thousand dollar lawyers a piece. Y'all had to split the money between six niggas. And soon, soon as it happened, you seen what Muwap did. He went and got fresh, went in. Bought some designers and and put a duck on there with a with a camera flash and like, bro, y'all did the stupidest hit in history. Y'all let somebody, y'all let THFT to put a battery in y'all back to catch your elbow, man. I'm gonna tell you what they did. They let social media clout. And reason Bruh. I say social media clout because they got their clout not from rapping. Moop sucked as the artist. Nobody glistening the boss top. I don't know the other niggas. I think this the is other- all niggas that was behind King Von. Before King Von come home, nigga, we didn't know none of them niggas except <laughs> yeah. boss top, nigga, because he right. was around Chief Keith, nigga. Right. You see what I'm saying? So That's the bad. clout cause these niggas to crash out now that they sitting in there knowing that they never coming home and the money that you took to even go through with the hit is gone and when you got caught y'all heard Dirk make a thousand songs about how he take care of the murderers how he take care of the, take care of the steppers mm-hmm. okay then was y'all lawyers took care of? Did y'all have decent tier paid lawyers for the kind of case y'all had? Let me know what y'all think. Leave them comments in the comment section because when people go off, are they instinct to just do anything for the dollar? You don't plan out correctly. And that's it's the same situation with Dolph. Rest in peace, Dolph. Not to even get off subject. They caught them niggas the same week. Mm-hmm. Just like they did the old block six. They caught them boys fast. They damn near knew how everything was plotted out. The first week. That just lets you know. Everybody ain't made to be no hitman, man. Bruh. One thing about hitman, them niggas rarely get caught. My nigga. They let THF Teasy phone call 
put that battery in their back. They ain't do no thinking, no chip, no chess boy on how to do nothing. They just jumped out there and turned up. You know why I don't think they put I'm not gonna blame it on THF TZ. That's what the feds said. They said THF TZ called. He was yeah, in yeah, the same yeah, store. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not gonna say he gassed him. He just threw a flare in the air. He dropping the low. The bag already in it. The, they didn't already been. They already they got a pre compensation for this hit. You see what I'm Yo. saying? Have to follow through with it. So when they get the low, they can't be like, "Oh fuck that! I'm playing 2K right now." They gotta go do what they gotta go do. You got an obligation. So when he call, it ain't that he put a battery in their back, nigga. Because that could have been anybody calling them about duck. They was gonna run out the building the same way. But see, but see, he had some jealousy going on because Duck was smashing his baby mama. He probably did have some jealousy going on. He probably had evil intentions, but I'm saying his evil intentions ain't what gassed them because they was going to do what they did. That's a fact. They was going to do what they, they do got anyway. the opportunity to do yeah. it. You see what I'm saying? For sure. They weren't going to spam now. No, nah, hell no. Nah. So we can't sit here and just put it on TZ. TZ is in the mix because he put he dropped it low. Mm-hmm. So it's they like, the ones follow through with the shit, and they rid of that man. They they did him like Alpo. They re, they rid of over fifteen bullets bullets and duck. You know why? You know why? I mean, they had Didn't to get to take that money. They got to get the job done, bro. Exactly. You feel me? You and I exactly. know, like you know, if they gonna go. If they going to go down there to the Gold Coast, Gold Coast, whatever you call it, you got to go down there and, and, and stand on that business, man. You can't go down there playing and you just picked up a bag. And you got to do it because you obligated to. Okay, you got the low on this nigga right now. You might not get the low on this nigga again for four months. You see what I'm saying? And, so how and, long a nigga supposed to wait for you to go get a nigga after he done paid you? You see what I'm saying? So when he called the running out the building and, and the, the sloppiness of the situation comes from them thinking about taking a opportunity right then because they might not get no another opportunity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We talking about FBG Duck. He move around with the steppers on that side. This day he down there, he don't got the step. How many times you think you're gonna catch duck like that? Hey, that's a I mean, I see exactly what you're saying now. They had to do it, bro. Yeah, they 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 went with they move and now, that, now let's 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 redress the situation. Let's say it wasn't no money involved. Mm -hmm. Then they just sitting in old block playing 2K, smoking blunts, messing with the broads. Then THFTZ called, Brrr. hey, hey, that nigga duck down here right now. They got two options. Ah, man, we, we'll get on this bumper another day. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm playing 2K. Or they got the third option to do it. But they got options. You ain't got no options, nigga, when you take that bag. Yeah, that's a go. You have no options. If the nigga survived... You didn't feel fulfill the contract. That's why niggas is overshooting niggas. Bow, bow, mm. bow, bow. 17 extra shots. Yeah. They're trying they to trying overkill. They're to have to come back because you survived five of them. They're trying to overkill. Yeah. yeah. Rest in peace to Duck, man. Rest in peace to... Everybody that lost their life in them war and that war they lost shot, right? Too in yeah. the process, even though they not, they're gonna, and, they're gonna, and, they're gonna and, pass away in the penitentiary, bro. In a federal and, institution, they not going to a federal camp. They in there for a federal murder charge. And, them niggas going what? straight to the United States penitentiary. And. What's going to bury them is racketeering. They already buried. 
but you, you 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 know you know yeah that's it's it's a wrap for them boys out, this was high profile it was in the wrong location this wasn't in the hood this is where the white folks no longer feel safe at because y'all done went down here and did this shit. yeah somebody y'all finna be the poster childs or let another nigga come down here with that bullshit. yeah they gotta make an example that's what that is yeah they gotta make an example y'all done scared off all our customers with this old hood and stuff at the end of the day everybody that went down these were some of the most popular people in recent today in old block so when i say old block is old block over that's a serious question let me know how y'all feel because chief keep vin ain't been in chicago so he's not the the face of today's old block he's the face of beginning old block drill old block drill yeah. movement old block <clears throat> he's a that's businessman he now yeah grown man at that yeah that's yeah grew grown up. Man. a lot of y'all need to take some gems from Chief Keith because Chief Keith got that money and he did what he was supposed to do. Got the fuck up out of there before the streets took him mm -hmm. or the police took him. He been ever, living life since he got the bag. Ever since he left, look how many souls been took him. And look how much hate he get because niggas so mad at Keith because they still where they at. Man, and look. he's decided not to stay there and go get Man. his life together. Like, nigga, didn't nobody tell yeah. none of you niggas when y'all get the bag, y'all rather go get the watch. Listen, what's wrong with getting the record deal, nigga? You coming out of Chicago, you coming out the trenches, you know what you living like every day. What's wrong with when a nigga come at you with these record deal offers and these offers y'all end up with these opportunities? What's wrong with saying, fuck that jewelry, my nigga? I'm trying to get me and my mom out the hood, nigga. I'm we getting shot at every day and shit. Like, I need to change my situation before I don't even be able to fulfill this contract I signed because a nigga be didn't clip my top because you didn't gave me a necklace and a watch, but I still gotta be outside with this big ass gun and hanging in the trenches, and I'm living at risk because my ops, I'm expendable to my ops every day. You know what I'm saying? So, so. When y'all do get that money, quit thinking about the look, nigga, and get y'all family up out the way. Y'all need to get the fuck out the way. Man, listen. <clears throat> I don't know how many times people got to witness successful brothers from the streets. Soon as they run that, that bag up, a nigga go ahead and rock them to sleep before they even... You know that what I mean? You, that don't scare you, though, cuz? Of course. Like, like, like. Of course. We street niggas, too. And I hate mm. when people get on these platforms and be like, nigga, how's y'all street nigga with you on YouTube? Motherfucker. <laughs> if you want to be 30, 40, mm. 50, 60, still going in and out of jail because you institutionalized, be my motherfucking guest. Evidently, you ain't been through enough yet to feel like you tired. I done been through all this shit, nigga. You don't justify or dictate when I had enough, nigga. Real shit. Because you going to do that. You got to, at the end of the day, when you lay on that bunk, it's just you. Period. So, Period. nigga, nigga, quit judging these niggas on YouTube thinking they not street dudes. and Because, nigga, don't get us fucked up. And don't nigga. approach me in public thinking thinking shit sweet like that. I'll stand over your stupid ass. Nigga, niggas trying to make it out this shit. Niggas trying to make it up out this shit. And this is a platform for a nigga to be able to make it out this shit. Nigga, we seeing niggas by track hawks move into mansions and shit with no risk in the process of that. Nigga, I ain't seen no niggas beat the game outside. So, nigga, you can preach that bullshit to another nigga because I done did all of that. And you probably fucking broke critiquing another nigga for trying to change they shit. It's most of the time it's a broke nigga critiquing how another nigga live. Now Just because got... you got a gun and you in the hood with $25 to your name don't mean you thugging. Nigga, it mean you struggling, nigga. Now we got Wet 100 reacting to your guy the big brother Big Juke being taken out in Memphis. Now everybody know that recently 
you know, rest in peace to Big Joe. He was deleted in Memphis last week. You did. And um, basically he was saying, like, if your guy don't move correctly, he won't make it to see Valentine. How you feel? Daddy know he got to move correctly. He been moving correctly. Don't nobody, don't nobody, don't nobody got to tell God he got to move correctly. You know why don't nobody got to tell God he got to move correctly? Because he just lost his blood brother. That's all it take, nigga. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that's all it take. But at the same time, I seen Seti Naz say some things. And shout out to Seti Naz because he did make some points. When you pick up that cloth as a street nigga, you got to stand for certain things. So this put Gotti in a situation right now because you a street cat too. And then the loss of your brother, I, we know you got things to lose. But at the end of the day, you got a lot of niggas outside. They not executives. They not rappers. These niggas steppers. And they got a certain level of respect for you. So if you don't do... Listen, it's just like not standing on business when you in jail. Once you don't stand on business in jail, everybody that had respect for you lost it. It's just like that. I mean, now... He don't have to physically do nothing, cuz. But I feel like he gonna have to show his muscle some kind of way. Now, what it boils down to, cuz, and this is just how me and you think. Because we just witnessed one of the, the best chess players pull a move on the hottest artist. He going to have to play chess. You feel me? It's too many millions in the way. You feel me? He got way too many millions in, in front of him. So, um, and like, like the streets were saying, right after it happened, everybody in the streets of Memphis was clutching, looking at each other crazy. You know what I mean? Everybody, everybody just waiting to hear a word. Gotti can't I mean, afford to get a word. Huh? Gotti, Gotti can't afford to get a word. No, for sure. No, I'm no, I ain't saying yeah, that, that nigga been being no, watched since the they since just the golf shit. You you know, like cause you know when it's when it when it be up, right? And everybody out on the person that's outside is is the is the smackers, and it's on the floor and and and, and dealing with some millionaires getting killed. Or well, I'm not a millionaire getting killed, but a millionaire association. You know what I'm trying to say? Shit, I don't know what you you said it right, cause yeah, Jook was yeah. a millionaire too. Yeah, well, you you feel me? So it's Jook like was a millionaire too. Let's just get throw that out there. We're not gonna play Jook like he was just a regular right. street nigga, but his brother was from C. Nigga, he helped his brother build CMG. So yeah, from, from that's my, like baby. Uh, that's like baby and Slim. From my understanding, he was always the hands on, allegedly in the streets anyway. He basically his role was to be the nigga that yeah. got to be the nigga. Yeah, for but sure. That was already his role. So it wasn't like they got this money and then they said, Well, look, you're gonna be the rapper and I'm gonna be the nigga. But Big Zook already see, was a street see, politician. Yeah, for sure. And not even just just that, according to the streets, allegedly he been had blood on his hands. So it and was I, like and I think people overlook the fact we talking about big jook this wasn't no young nigga no hell no he was a we talking about a 40 something probably possibly what? 50 year old nigga nigga what? this this nigga then went some summers nigga i mean you gotta be from, smart to make it summers from from doing from us doing observation on memphis dog for to be that age in the memphis streets is a blessing because man, them niggas slanging that bitch out there. And a lot of niggas ain't making it. Yeah, like they, they not like are we not glorifying murder or none of that. We just telling y'all uh, what's going on in the This streets. is what we talking about reality. Yes. This is this time for that culture for the street podcast, and we're gonna we gonna give it to you clean, my nigga. So hey, it's real reality. 
and we we can't act like we can't skip past it like like it's just like a lottery ticket no fool big joke got killed 2024 this is big this is a part this is a part of southern history in the rap game because wherever wherever the talent was at big joke and yo got in there was pulling up to the trenches and let's make this clear the minute they took Dolph. This became way bigger of a thing than Gucci and Jeezy. Yeah, for sure, man. This became a way bigger thing because Gucci and Jeezy had their issue, but it didn't tear Atlanta up. Right. Nigga, this shit tearing Memphis up. Yeah. And then we it's, just took it, another it, loss. This wasn't no it, foot soldier. This it, was it, the nigga that's at the top with Gotti. He's gone. It, that's just like taking Gotti. Nigga, it's up, up. The city, it, you might as well take the lid off this, just unscrew bro, the lid off of Memphis and keep it off. See, the, it was, it. the temperature been high. It's just what I feel like is every time one of, one of them niggas drop a till, they finna go spin. But you gotta think about who getting spent on, cause I mean, you lost. Yeah, you uh, right. Uh, 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 Dolph, rest in peace, Dolph gone. This is a different caliber of a nigga coming out of Memphis. He gone. Juke gone. Uh. Uh. C O T Z. Deep nigga. He might no not skit. have been. You he can't wasn't forget about him. Them, but Nooski and CEO Teezy, these niggas yeah. was top tier outside niggas. Yeah. Creatures. These type of niggas in the street, put the money to the side. Throw it in the closet, lock the door. We talking about street activity. We ain't even talking about niggas with, with money. We talking about niggas that stand on business in the street. For sure. It's tears and levels to that too. And CEO TZ and, and Nooski, them niggas was top tier street niggas as street niggas. If they wasn't real threats in the streets, then why they get put in a sleeping bag like they did then? Bro, the street saying them boys was creatures, man. I'm not, we not finna sugarcoat this. They was slanging that bitch like any other step out there. And that's on top of, and we talking about all these top tier street dudes. It is people that don't really necessarily got a, a direct hand in this CMG PRE beef in the streets of Memphis. Because Memphis already has smoke of its own between neighborhoods mm-hmm. and shit like that already. Let's get that mm-hmm. part. That's still going on while Dolphin and Gotti beefing. That's a fact. So think about how many niggas that ain't on the internet and they ain't rapping and they ain't doing all that. They hustling, jacking, robbing, and stepping. Mm-hmm. Think how many top tier niggas just, just doing that that got took out, out there that sparked the beef to go even higher than what it... you Because you think True the Mafia oh, just going to say, oh, they took CEO T's. We need to fall back. Bro, we can't even forget. Remember... uh. CEO Jizzle got shot inside the arena. Top tier street nigga. Right. They just didn't take him. Mm-hmm. This smoke is real. Ain't nobody in the rap game. It's real. And it's going and and seeing what happened to Big Jook just let us know cuz it's gonna forever be real. It's forever up. It's I mean. It's like this, like just like any other dangerous city out there. Once it's blood on the ground and reputable dudes start dying, it's all it's 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 forever. It's forever by about man, this is about Dolph, by Big Juke, about Nooski, about Teasy. 
it's forever up. I know it's plenty more that we can't. And they're not wrong for feeling like it's forever up. It was they homeboys. By right, they got the right to feel exactly like that as straight yeah. dudes, because that's how we'll be outside feeling if we out there getting active, yes. and that's how stuff panning out. We gonna have the same type of emotion for it. Yes, it's, it's up. And, it's uh, just crazy because we watching we Memphis and, just got this this wave going on, but what's going on in Memphis is so lit right now. It could take what's going on. It could take that blessing away from Memphis. You see what I'm saying? Just like we watching it. Memphis carrying the game right now. Right. So, But they did that in the process of kind of taking the light off Chicago. Because we don't sit there and we not all tuned in to who coming out today and tomorrow and Thursday and Friday from Chicago. Memphis got so many like niggas that's coming out that's really out there exposure wise and they really blowing they really took over but they got the they're gonna lose the violence the, the violence is gonna cause them to drop the ball it is that's exactly what i was trying to say cuz point blank period so and right now while memphis got it detroit is on their heels but 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 See, now, when we talk about that, you're absolutely right. Because in the Midwest, Chicago don't have it no more. Mm -hmm. It's Detroit. Facts. When you come to these states, when you go to, to these states, you're going to hear Detroit music being played Bro. way more than you hearing. You're going to hear the Skiller Babies and the, the, all of them. Yes. Rio the youngins, and you're gonna hear PZ, you're gonna hear Ice Wear Vizo. Shout out to all of them. Nigga, I'm and, from the Midwest. And Detroit got it in the Midwest. Let me let me say this, bro. And if if while we talk about the Midwest, if if y'all didn't watch the 42 dub bash, you gotta go. This man literally had they enemies on stage. This man had enemies on stage. Doughboy Cash Out and Team Eastside, mm -hmm. Boosie, Dirt, La Baby, Me, Mills, Wallow, Jeezy, Boosie. Like, Doug show out for Detroit, man. Like, that was big. In, but, 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 hold on, hold on, cuz. Shout out to 42 Doug, too. But Detroit showed out for Detroit. That's a fact. 42 Doug could put the You're opportunity right. out there. Right, it still right. take Detroit to come together to make it work. You see what I'm saying? So I salute these niggas because we from the Midwest, and I tell you all the time how hard it is to unify in the Midwest. So to see niggas in my backyard that's really unifying, cuz I think everybody in the Midwest need to pay attention to what 42 Doug did and understand that it's more yeah. money and new shit for everybody right. when niggas come together, man. Period. And no, it was not one fight. Nobody died. Like that was that was legendary. For and and most of these cats came out on the strength and wasn't even about getting paid to come do it. Mm -hmm. They Doug showed them like before it was me. These the dudes that I looked up to that paved the way for me. Like that was gangster. He was paying homage. And that's why you got rappers like, I mean, not rappers, but bloggers like Dogface. Shout out to Dogface. He cussed out 5'9 Royce for uh, telling 42 Doug that he see him because, you know, they say Royce 5'9. He, uh, he basically a gatekeeper. Like and he don't he's, be opening the door for nobody. Yeah, he he, he never showed. More, he do more popping out, telling the people he cool with, man. Nah, nah, man, don't mess with them. Yeah, that's what he got for that. So, you know, you know, dog face. Like, don't try to kind of come and uh uh interfere with what these young boys done built for Detroit because mm -hmm. all of these boys got rich without you. Without your mm -hmm. cosign, without anything got to do with you. You feel me? And they did it without Eminem, too. They did it without him. They did it without him. They worked hard. I, and, and what make it so bad, 
a lot of people don't want to admit it if you listen to the rap game beats majority of the people in the rap game are using midwest beats all over the album whether it's chicago or michigan yes them no new orleans style too. beats you go here new orleans using using a uh, rock 49 using a bunch of midwest beats. they using michigan i didn't heard florida niggas rapping over michigan style mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's a california fact. niggas too that's a fact. You even got some trying to use their style. That's why I say, but how can you rap over a Detroit beat without using their style? True. That's a it's fact. like trying to rap over screw music. Nigga, you're going to have to rap like Fat Pat and them was for it to even go. Nigga, mm-hmm. what are you talking about? That's a fact. Ain't going to be no flipping and flipping and hipping. You're going to have to go in the studio. I'll be coming down. Yeah. 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 Move around. Good yeah. fans. You're gonna have to rap like that. Yeah. Oh, it ain't gonna sound right. You can't mimic a region's music without sounding like them. That's why when niggas Atlanta took off and 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 the first thing came out of everybody's mouth when Atlanta took the crown and they was holding hip hop up, uh-huh. everybody started sounding like Atlanta, not because they wanted to, nigga. You had to. That was True. the only music there that was, was working, nigga. Yeah, it was it was the only was music sports. working, nigga. So that's what they wanted to hear. Yeah. They had to dance music. They had to get money. Nigga, you want to lean with it, rock with see. it with the franchise boys, and everybody see. else had all the dancing shit. But see, now, now it's just Memphis, Baton Rouge, and Detroit. But Detroit is working extra hard, boy, and everybody got. A bag. Majority of them put it. I ain't gonna even sugarcoat. Everybody that was on that stage was rich. But you know, but but see, that's another thing. I used when we be talking, and we we always talk about like the regions, like in the Midwest. Mm-hmm. Niggas in the mid about that money, man. Everybody in Michigan, Detroit, niggas. About they money, man. Mm-hmm. Why you think they got the Cartier glasses? Uh, that's really right. a thing there. A nigga will, a broke nigga will kill you about them glasses. You know what I'm saying? A broke nigga will kill you about that. Cause them glasses forty five hundred five thousand. So you know you could not have a car, but have some buffs and a motherfucker look at you like, oh that nigga, he having because nigga niggas know how much these glasses cost. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? So it's like at that, it's just different. In 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 Michigan, niggas gonna do whatever they got to do to secure the bag. They gonna do whatever they got to do to secure their bag. And I salute Memphis niggas. I mean Memphis niggas and detroit niggas so we got to kind of be specific because it's other cities in tennessee that do their thing so true we got to single out memphis just like we got to single out detroit because when you talk about michigan detroit is the front line of that you know what i mean yeah it's they, they, when we talk about tennessee memphis is the front line mm-hmm. of the music scene right now i think they always been for real Right, and, and that, I mean, Cashville, they had a couple rappers, but they was never bigger than Memphis. They never had as many, Memf- like, Memphis didn't bred stars. Right. And and superstars. Yeah. Because Juicy J and, you know, 3-6 Mafia. They all, they, all of their legends are still getting paid to this day. Yeah. They still doing beats. Yeah, you because me? they superstars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like all like, that, all that material that they made in the in the early '90s and the late '80s is still getting people still sampling that. And you just gotta salute it because when people are able to bring their culture to the forefront and create some type of wealth from it, and at the same time expose your environment so people gravitate toward it, that's something. That's something that's dope to see because. You see people rapping like Detroit niggas now. You see them listening to their beats. They trying to wear the Cartier. They mimicking mm-hmm. Midwest mm-hmm. niggas now. 
And I right. love that because Midwest niggas never really got that type of niggas wasn't trying to dress like Bone when they came out, and that was the nah. biggest thing we had back in the night. Nah, you right. You see what I'm saying? So it's just it's just dope to see. Shout out Memphis and shout out what's the name? But we got to get into this little Nas X. Before oh yeah, um, Lil Nas X. He 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 makes fun of of, of Christianity. Now if this was a this was a little debate, right? Because I told people in my vlog, right, the only person that caught backlash from it but didn't really catch it heavy as Lil Nas X was Tupac. When he got on the cross, a lot of Christians yeah. felt but 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 they had to criticize Tupac when he was already gone because Machiavelli came out, he was dead. I I, I know that, but what I'm saying is that we knew the procedure when he did it, but a lot of Christians felt some type of way, like, oh, why would he do this? Whoop, whoop, that ain't right. Whoop, whoop. But see, now that we got Lil Nas X and we got social media so we can actually see videos and behind the scenes and all this, and, you know, he's promoting what he's promoting. A lot of Christians, like, I mean, a Christian's like, why would you name this uh record j christ and you not even uh you not even painting none of that inside this video you doing other things he was making yeah you mockery. mockery yeah you're making a mockery basically you know what i mean and basically you know uh he he had responded and was like he didn't think it was no big deal like that he thought he thought it was good marketing because uh Tupac did it but he thought that he could do it bigger um it don't justify him doing that trying to upset you know what these people believe in I feel like he's wrong what you think uh I feel like um he messed up in a lot of ways uh gotta be some respect man he must he, he gotta be some respect and then the fact that you you took the 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 um the the glorification of liking what you choose to like mm -hmm. and mix it with religion at the same time yeah that was almost like going and and and, and it's it's almost like trying to mix porn and church together yeah it, it don't make they don't go together yeah you, you see yeah. what i'm saying and, and right. it's kind of like what he was throwing out there and it just did it's just it was it's, sickening it was it was it was distasteful you know what crazy. i mean it's crazy. because one thing uh if we can't do nothing else we can at least respect a person belief mm -hmm. you know what i mean no matter what that what no matter what they believe in i'm not going i'm not going to rain on nobody parade when it come down to no religion if that's what makes your life better hey man do you but i just feel like he do a lot of he know how to he know how to he know how to piss off the masses i'm gonna just say that cuz remember he had the the blood inside the air max and he got sued by nike you know what i mean he just bro bro is weird man and i feel like me this me my personal opinion y'all can let us know what y'all think in the comments i feel like he's doing all this critical judgmental type of that he know gonna get a lot of backlash type of music because the mm -hmm. actual music that he putting out is trash yeah old town road he went diamond nigga we nigga, the, the, all the rest of this stuff you've been putting out you you've been you've been missing miserably that's why you've been doing all the controversial type of things so you can still at least get an internet check because like what you doing the, the actual quality and body of work you putting out is trash yeah as an artist you're trash 
He just know how to market himself good. That's it. I'm not even going to say he know how to market himself good, because let's just be honest. He has a deal now, bro. Okay. He being controlled. Yeah, shit, yeah. Nigga, he ain't. He he don't dictate right. what he want to do. What right. what major label artists get to, unless they really just own most of the, he he don't know no better. That nigga doing what them folk want him to do. Yeah, they gonna yeah they so gonna have see him. that. don't just put it on Lil Nas X. Right. He be empowered by some some sick people too. Yeah. Let's That's not forget fact. that because it's a lot of people. Lil Nas X, Lil Nas X, Lil, nigga the record label. We need to understand. Don't we can't leave them out. It's yeah, just like popping off a kid to R. Kelly. That's right. like what it is. The higher elites who you don't see on camera, they just is worse. They got their hands on all the strings. Yeah. Of Nas X. They yeah, actually they enjoying it. Yeah, because he's taking the fall for it, not them. Mm-hmm. They enjoying it. It's some sick it's, people out it's, here. It's super sick, man. Yeah. It just I don't know, but that just lets you know the, the links people will go for exposure to stay relevant mm -hmm. and, and and for popularity, bro. And just don't go out there and become one of them people. Cause one thing about this platform. We dedicated to not becoming one of them people. Nigga, I'm not a private eye, nor do I get paid to be going and trying to discover where somebody ran off to. Did they get kidnapped? Nigga, I'm not a private investigator. Nigga, right. I'm going to come here. We're going to give y'all the news or we're going to give y'all our perspective. Most of the time, we giving y'all our perspective of the news. We not finna sit here and put no case together for y'all. No. <laughs> Hell Let no, me just put that out there now. I don't care what you didn't went and did and who you didn't did it to and what they didn't went public and said, nigga. I'm not Sherlock Holmes. Don't expect me to be one. There's plenty of channels out here that put cases together or uh, whatever y'all feel like they doing. We don't do that over here. We just give our perspective of shit because at the same time we street niggas too. We still got to go outside. That's a fact. And this all we got for y'all on this episode. It's time for that culture for the streets, man. Y'all know it's on the floor and the latch off the door. You did. You heard what my homie said, man. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back at y'all like a regular scheduled program. Just make sure y'all stay tuning in, man. We on a race to 20K, man. We'll holler at y'all. We're gone.